Hello, happy gardeners. Welcome back to Stinky Ditch Nursery. We've got Marla on camera. Say hello, Marla. Hi. And she's only got one glove on. It's a bit cold today. Can you see this? Is that misting? You yeah, that? yeah, you can see it. And it's a bit cold today. So Marla's had her gloves on, but she had her nails done yesterday. And ladies or gents, if you have long painted nails, you can do gardening. Show them what's happened. Look, yeah, there we go. Good. Been potting up all day and they're perfect. Gardening gloves, all you need. Anyway, I digress. Back to the post today. What we're talking about today, a growing hibiscus from seed. Now, unfortunately, I haven't got any hib hibiscus in flower at the moment because they're not in flower at the moment. So if you want to know what they are, I'll write it down at the bottom of the thing. Hibiscus, look on Google Images, something like this. Anyway, Mara, if you can spin in, these are hibiscus. They go back to a woody sort of thing. They're like a little tree. They grow quite big. And these are the flowers that have gone over and they're ripening seed pods. And you can see this one here is just about to split but I'm leaving him on for a bit. But here, and if I put my glasses on, and uh, actually, Marla, spin in here. Here's a seed pod I picked already, and you can see the seed inside it. And we're going to be planting these. Now, you can take cuttings from um, hibiscus, but you want to be doing it sort of late summer when they're still in their growth period, because then they will continue to grow, and they'll put on a bit of root straight away that will see them through the winter. Um, at the moment, it's a bit hit and miss. You might get some cuttings work as hardwood cuttings, but you might not. But what we're going to do is plant these seeds. So for this, we need a seed mix. Our seed mix comprises of three equal parts of gritty sand. Marla, do you want to show the people the gritty sand? Here we are, gritty sand and topsoil. Topsoil, the stuff what comes out of the ground. And this is some recycled grow bag. This is something that was something that was grown in last year and we're going to use it again and again and again. This gets incorporated into soil and never gets wasted. Anyway, Marla, if you want to sit down, what I've done is I've sieved these three things together with a sieve about that big. It's about five millimetres, quarter of an inch, something like that. And I've sieved it all together and here we have our lovely seed mix. Now we're going to put our plants in a pot and we're going to label it. We're going to label it with a pencil. If you use a 2B pencil, something like this, I find they work much, much better than permanent markers. Permanent markers eventually wipe off, um, but this, they'll stay on there. So anyway, we get our pots, we want drainage holes in the bottom. This is just something I got from the supermarket, nice and recycled and all that. So you get your screwdriver and give it a few holes in the bottom. If you've seen my post before, you know we, this is what we do. Then we get our compost and we put it in the pot and fill it up to I don't like that. Marla, can you get that? Show the people. And then what we do is we water it now. We water it prior. There you are. Spin down. Show everyone how we water it. We're going to water it prior to planting the seeds. This stops the seeds floating around and everything if you um, plant them afterwards. And because we've got a load of sand in there, you can see that's draining through nicely. There we go. All right. I'll pop it back up onto the table. There we are. Right. Now we've got our seed mix in there and we've got it nice and wet. So we're going to get our seeds out of our um, pods. So we're just going to give it a bit of a twist like this and they'll all come out nicely. And you can see they're quite, they're quite large seeds, they're easy enough to handle. We can sort of plant these individually. I haven't got anything there, that can be thrown away. And there we are, one more in there. Come out. Oh, it's always the last one, isn't it? Is this going on too long now, Marla? <laughs> there we go, and there's our seeds. And now what I'm going to do is, because they're quite large, I'm just going to place them. And I'm going to place them in rows so that if anything else comes up, you know, weeds and things like this, um, we'll, we'll sort of have a better idea of what um, our plants are and what's going to be a weed, all right? If you see what I mean. And they should come up at about the same time. I've got a few more here to put in there. I'm going to do it now because otherwise we'll go on to the next little video and I'll forget to do it. There we are, just a few more seeds in there. Like that. And now I'm going to give it a fine covering of our seed compost, or you could use gritty sand. I'm going to use a bit of gritty sand actually, it seems to keep the weeds down a little bit better. There we are, sprinkle those in there. So I'm going to put in the gritty sand. Now the gritty sand layer on top, or your compost layer on top, it wants to be about twice the depth of the width of the seed, if you follow what I mean. So if we get our comp thing here, Marla, spin it, show the people, just give it a light covering like that. And then we'll give it a bit of a jiggle, a bit of a, a bit of a smooth out like that. Clean it up and stick the label in. Probably. There we are, we're done. I'll give it a bit of a tap. Now I'm going to leave that in an unheated greenhouse. We're going to keep an eye on it and um, hopefully in the spring they should start sprouting up. Now I'm planting them now because I believe in working as nature would do it by itself. 
And these things are falling off the trees at the moment, all the shrub bushy things at the moment, they're falling on the ground. And so that's why I've chosen to do it now. You can do it in the spring as well, but we're going to see if it gives them a head start. This has been Robbie Phoenix down at Stinky Ditch Nursery with Marla on camera with no broken nails. Thanks for watching.